He's I'm, I'm, he's making me stoke his ego this morning. Yes. Because the bean bags are nice and full from all the foam that they put. You want to yes. see the foam that he puts in them? Yeah. He gets all this foam from the store, from the packaging. And I cut it up. Cuts it up. And I refill it. And that would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy that foam. Okay. Guess what we get to do today? We get to decorate Yay. for Christmas. <laughs> He's like, is this really what we're doing today? Yes, it is, in fact, what we're doing today. And I'm all bundled up um, because we're going to go outside to the garage. Yeah, I'm freezing. Are any of you guys in New York or where it's getting slammed with snow? Yeah. If so, comments below because that looks wild. Comments below? Comment below? Comment below. Comments? Comment. Honey, it's you're plural. being a dork. It's, it's not. Plural. Okay, he's Multiple being a dork. Multiple people comment, so comments below. And then that is put... not what you say. That is such bad grammar. You guys, that is so bad. Put your comments below. Put your comments below. Yes. Whatever, dude. It's how the kids talk nowadays. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Such a dork. We're going out to the garage. We got to do a little organizing out there. Put away Halloween leftover stuff, and then we're gonna get all the Christmas stuff down and start to decorate. It's gonna be quite fun. I know he really wants to go somewhere in the car. There's nowhere to go that I can I think know. of. I know exactly. <laughs> That's why we're I going. I could wash it, but it's cold. It's cold, and it would actually like not be good to do that. Okay, here is the situation out here in the garage. These little jingle bells did not work at the store. I feel like they could, but I'm not going to step on those toes. I'm just going to let them be. But I might put them on my front porch. I'm going to kind of see what they look like out there. But like I said, we have a few things for Halloween not put away. Actually, all the stuff for Halloween is not put away. And then, I don't know what these shoes are doing here. I'll let Jason figure that out. I need to ask Ashley if we can throw this away, or I don't, I don't know what she wants us to do with this. So I kind of feel like I can't make a decision on that quite yet. So we're gonna put that up there. Anywho, we've gotta kind of organize some of this stuff, put it away, like this doesn't even go here. He's gonna get mad that I'm putting cardboard on his car. Watch that. We're gonna put that here and see what he says when he when he comes back in. I let you saw me. I set it down. Oh, his car just turned on because I'm near it with my phone. It's conditioning. Oh, what are you doing? Put it on the car. Get it off the car. <laughs> I totally called it. Dude, I totally called it. Do that on your car, which still pisses me off. But don't <laughs> put it on the car. <laughs> Go put it over there. Anyway, his car is turned on because our phone is by it. It's conditioning. No, I don't have my phone, but you have your phone. I did, yeah, so it's turned on. I don't know why it's turned on. Yeah. It is. Um, do you know what these are? Yeah, they're shoes. Don't be a schmuck. Why are they out here? Because I hiked in them. So now they're too dirty to go inside. Well, I could, but then All right. Dirty. We're going to organize some of this stuff, and we'll be back. You don't need to hear our squabbles. But all the Christmas stuff is up there. In order to get to up there, we need to have access down here. So we just the opened tire. the garage to put something in my car, and we just noticed that there's a freaking screw in my tire. We literally just day. took the tires down to have his car tires like switched. I swept the other at day. At the cost of a thousand dollars. Will they just repair that? Those tires are brand new. Well, Those are we brand have new Honda tires. People do a tire repair? No, if we take it to Firestone, they should cover that. Well, they put them on. We bought these on Tire Rack. Yeah, I know, but they 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 do warrant like they do road damage like that. Another thing added to our plate, and we just barely signed up to have that car taken in as soon as we get his well, old car not taken get that back fixed before we should just no but we already like signed up to have some warranty stuff fixed on that car over at the Honda dealership but now like the freaking screw in the tire just if it's not one I thing sweat. it's another all right all Halloween has been put away access to Christmas has opened up we have got out the lights that never made it back into a light bucket last Christmas so we'll take those straight out to the porch maybe you can go and put the Christmas lights up outside that's a hard no that, that's we'll what's that we'll see what the day brings you guys think I'm nuts that he doesn't remember things he literally just took in the tree skirt for the Christmas tree that we bought brand new spent a lot of money on just a few years ago because he got sick of me spending $50 at Costco for new fresh trees, like real trees. He said, no, I'm not spending that money on real trees anymore and having the mess. And so he was like, just now he's like, oh, we have a, we have a fake tree. No, I said, we, do have, we have a fake tree. Are we buying a new one? Uh, no, I said, don't we buy one? Cause you always wanted to buy one. I can't even with him. What? I cannot with him. Ugh, I can't you change your mind. I don't change my mind. We bought that tree brand new years ago because you 
got sick of me buying them from Costco. No, because yes. you switched from wanting okay. to have a real one to like what? We threw out a, a fake one. Because so it was a buy. piece of crap. So you could buy real a ones real one. for several years. Yes. And then you changed your mind and decided to go back to the... Uh, but it's been years since I've had a okay. fake Christmas tree. Well, I only think about it once a year. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. This so is my is life. This, this is, is my this life. Too. What is this? This is the garland. Do you want it? <sighs> I said <laughs> you said that the, yes, they're labeled no. stocking linen two mini trees It sounded like there's you said too, too many, many trees too many trees too many trees That's what it sounds like <laughs> you're saying and I'm like there's no way that's what the label says It does not say that there's too many, too many trees, trees in here. There's two mini number two, number two mini, mini trees. Okay <laughs> Too many trees and then what else? Uh, this one says, No, no, stockings and what else? This just this bin? Yeah. Says, I'll read it again for you. <laughs> Wood signs, stocking, slash linen, yes. parenthesis two, parenthesis, <laughs> mini trees. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes, I want that. <laughs> I tell you guys, I like to be real. We've got all these buckets kind of lining the walkway here. And um, we'll push them all through when we go in. We're just trying to like not take the cold air in. But now he's got to get the, the the real fake Christmas tree that we didn't buy to replace getting real trees. We didn't buy this. Oh my gosh, I'm being I'm making fun of you. Oh. It's really heavy though, so I wonder if he can get it on his own. <laughs> nice. Here, we'll prop up the camera so we can watch it fall. Should I go help him? Should I go help him, guys? Should I help? He likes to appear manly. See? If, if we had the door oh, uh, clear, I could take it straight in. Okay, here we go. We're going to make it clear for him to go in. Or maybe not. <laughs> um, hang on. Just so you guys know, he likes me to film his manliness. <laughs> oh, oh! So you can start that, because you don't like to decorate, but you like to set that up for me, because I'm allergic to the tree. And I'm saying it here so he can't say no. <laughs> All right, there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing right now. It's a little overwhelming if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to start by taking all the stuff out that I usually put on the front um, shelves. I've cleared this off and moved the garland to the mantle. I want to make a house village here. So I'm kind of just placing them here. But as you can see, I have all the houses and the trees over on there for now. Um, just, it's overwhelming. <laughs> So I'm just kind of piling everything here and they probably will stay here for a couple days as I kind of sort through everything, but I'm still trying to figure out how I want to decorate. All right, I've unloaded some stuff. I think I will go set the nativity stuff because I kind of do that in the center and the top of our shelf and have that as like our focus point to obviously like center on Christ for Christmas. Um, I'm gonna start there and then I'm not sure Go from there but I have everything out that I'm going to get out for sure this is all the ornaments but it's also all the things that I use to decorate like my tiered trays that I put like on the table the hot cocoa bar I'm gonna do some kind of a display there in the jar and then the one here in the corner right there but I'm kind of wanting to give myself some freedom to like relax and do that I don't I, somehow I feel like I'm really like stressed to get it all done i have like four hours before we have to get ready to go out tonight we're going out with our friends to do some church stuff we're starting way early this year yeah i want to enjoy it i have lit a candle <laughs> i have uh bing crosby christmas playing on my um alexa but i think maybe i will set up the nativity stuff because that section is completely bare the top two shelves there in the middle and then maybe i'll do the little house scene um, and that will eliminate a lot of these houses and then I'll know what I have left to kind of place on the shelves. You know what, I'm, I'm missing a box. I'm missing like my, I bet that bucket that had the train stuff in it, I bet it has some of my truck stuff in it. Um, but this is all ornaments for the tree except for, yeah, I already told you. I think that's why I'm overwhelmed. I don't want to pull it all out because I don't want to deal with it all right now, but it's like I need to have everything available. Too. I want to put the big balls on the porch because it's not Thanksgiving yet. So I don't want a, like an outside display of Christmas quite yet. So they'll probably just go back to the garage. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, I might use one or two of them and we might take the other two back. We'll see. 
it's an early December morning No one but we are We look out the window as it's starting to snow And I realize as you had me decide what to use what not to use I'm not really liking the cream color of these but I can use my flock and I think I'll spray them and make them more white um, but I'm just slowly getting things out I'm excited to put those on my hot cocoa bar and who remembers what these are I'm so excited I haven't even like put these away they've been on my laundry counter since we got home from Hawaii these I need to wash and put up in the cupboard. These are our Christmas plates. I actually want to look um, for like a plain colored one. This can be like our like dessert plate that goes on top and then a plate to eat dinner on will go underneath it. And then I have the wooden chargers from the dollar store. So those are going to be fun. This is all my supplies that I've gotten so far for wrapping and presents and whatnot. Um, I just need to put that into my wrapping bucket. We'll bring that in after I have gotten rid of all of these other buckets. This is like really behind the scenes. You're not going to get a whole lot of like actual <laughs> decor done. Um, and then that's my linens for kind of fluffing around the kitchen and on my trays. Um, I need to iron that and hang that somewhere. But amidst the chaos, which we are probably not going to last as long as we wanted to, um, the bottom layer of this tree, which I certainly hope there's not more problems on the other two layers. Um, we had a whole strand that was out. Before we go so we don't need more lights. Right. So we're going to head to Target after a little while. Um, after he gets this set of lights put onto the tr part that is like bare, um, he had to pull off all the pre-strung lights and put on another set. But we'll plug in the other two sets and just make sure that they all work. And then I think we're going to go to Target and get more lights for this tree and more lights for you at store, right? Yeah, I need mean, just like decorative lights. Okay. And little candles, don't forget little candles to go in the uh, lantern things. Like fake ones? Well, yeah. Okay. Um, but this is what I've gotten done so far. Really, it's like nothing. So I like to do a little forest with my over the river and through the woods um, truck that I made years ago. This is probably my favorite thing that I've made. Um, and I do like a forest scene around that. Um, so I know I'm going to do that, but I can't find the trees. They're probably in my little buckets for the ornaments. And then I'm just kind of like prepping and kind of playing around with different display ideas. I always like to kind of make little scenes. So I'm kind of just still placing and I think that stand is going to move. Um, I pulled up my tree stumps, the little slices. I can make a little display on that one. I added a red sleigh down there. But it's all preliminary. Everything is going to kind of change. Even this little area. I found a sign in a bucket. But I know I have a, a green sign that I'm going to put here as well. And then I have a, a little bead garland that kind of hooks inside this as a little tassel. 
Um, I need to hook that up and I'm just, it's just a process. It's going to take a couple days, but amidst all that, my coat came and I think this is Christmas present, so I can't show you that one, but my new coat came. Let me show you. Okay. First of all, look at this color. Obviously I love this color. I didn't realize it perfectly matches my watch band. Oh, it's so cute. I got it from LL Bean and I should try it on for you. It's really cute. I love the olive green um, zipper and then the pull cord is green. And then look at that hoodie. Look how nice that is. Oh, I'm excited. So that's pretty good. It's a little tight here. I I don't think so because if you it got looser, look tight. no, because if you got looser, it would just look it would look too baggy. baggy. It would just like right a tent. Just kind of looks fitted. Right? Yeah, no, it looks good. I think it looks perfect in the shoulders. I'm dying of heat, but it's it's. <laughs> Pop the hood on. Let's see what the hood so looks the, like. The pockets are good. Yeah. and they're big. And all right, let's see what the hoodie looks. <gasps> cozy, nice? and you can cozy. cinch it. Yeah, I can cinch it, and you know. Yeah, that's perfect for winter. Yeah. But it doesn't feel, I don't want it to feel it, like too baggy. I want it to feel no, fitted. This is the right size. Actually, like. The sleeves are good. If you got smaller or whatever, if it got bigger, it would be a tent. And if you got smaller, it wouldn't fit. Yeah. So that's perfect. I'm keep my bum warm. Yep. So. Good little bum. Finally found it. Now I just need to lose a little bit of weight to not make it feel so tight. I think it, okay, yeah. It looks fine. I, I feel a little tight. I feel a little uncomfortable. As long as people can't see that, that's fine. Definitely don't see it. You look good. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're at Target and we're actually testing <laughs> the lights. Oh, with, that's warm. We're plugging them into this Christmas tree that's right here. That's warm. That's warm. Yes, that is warm white. We will get that one. I was worried about it because it doesn't say warm. It says clear. clear. Um, but yes, that's what I want. I was worried I'd had to get like a whole bunch of small ones, but I want the one big one. It's fine. All right, so far we've got these lights for our tree and then he's getting these little sets for the displays at our store so they don't have to get plugged in and just tape in general for wrapping presents. And then he just found these little lights to go in the lanterns and they just like are battery and remote operated and they flicker. Let me see if I can do it. And like a little flicker candle. And they'll look good in our... Yeah, they will. And then we also got those because they can be used year round to light up displays. And bathroom light bulb for Abby's bathroom. All right, we got all those things from Target and we actually found a candle. I did not like any of the holiday candles, but I found, and one I've wanted for a long time is the wood wick, wick um, candles that like, like cat, they do like the crackle sound when they light them. So I convinced Jason to get me one of those, but it's pumpkin spice. So I'll use it here for the next couple weeks. I'll have it out for Thanksgiving. If it's a nice enough smell, I'll keep it up for the holidays. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to go home and actually light that one. I had a Christmas one that I pulled out from the decorations and it's almost gone. I had lit it for like an hour and a half today and it's like almost gone. And I was like, Jason, I need to have another candle. And he's like, well, the house did smell good while we were decorating. So he has fully believed me. Um, here's a quick question. He was making inappropriate comments in Target, and so I was getting frustrated, and I was like, if you want permission to come to Target with me, which I have no problem with, I like spending time with you, you have to keep your comments to a bare minimum. This is Target. This is a, like, this is a sacred place for women. He was like, you mean women don't normally go to Target with their husbands? And he was dead serious, and we ran into a friend of mine, and she's like, no, this is a sacred place. This is not a place I bring my husband. <laughs> So leave a comment down below if you like to go to Target with your husband or if it's a sacred place for you and you just leave him at home. But <laughs> speaking of being at home, I have left, or he is headed home to now get my car because there's a screw in the tire. But we just picked up, hang on. Okay, we just picked up his car. It was finally done. We're really getting frustrated with this place because they emailed us and they're like, hey, we have a question about your car. We're like, dude, how hard is it for you to put four tires on? We bought them, we brought them to you. How hard is this for you to just put a tire on? Four tires, it's not even that difficult. Um, but anyway, finally picked it up. He's taking that one home, picking up my Honda and bringing it back down here to fix the tire, the screw in the tire. Hopefully that was a quick fix 
and we can get both cars back <laughs> because this is getting annoying. Um, but there was no point in me going all the way back home with him just to get another car. So I'm here waiting for him to bring that one back down and then we're gonna go home. And I remembered I have to make dinner for a friend who broke her foot and get that to her on our way to go to a church activity. It's not a, we're, it's something that we're gonna go do for church um, with four other couples. Our like game group, we're gonna go together and go do that for church. And then um, we're gonna go out to dinner afterward. So we'll be dressed up. I've gotta go put makeup on, I've gotta put a dress on, but I get to wear my new coat, which will be kind of fun. And it'll feel, even though it's not a fancy coat, it's kind of long and it'll, it'll look good with, with a dress. So I, um, I need to like get home and time making a frozen lasagna. I've already told my friend, um, it's nothing fancy. I just have time for a frozen lasagna and quick up, make up some veggies for her. Um, she only has one son at home and I think he maybe is having a friend over for dinner. But um, I've got to time that to be done cooking by the time we leave. But also, there's a store right near where we're going that sells the chocolate covered cinnamon bears that only, we've only ever seen them in Utah. And they sell them at this store. It's one of our church stores. And they sell them and everyone is going bonkers that they have brought them in. <laughs> Cause they're like, we have to go get the cinnamon bears. So we have to time all of that stuff. Um, and we only have like, I only have like an hour before I need to put the lasagna in. So I'm kind of, you know, crunched for time at this point. So this is the behind the scenes of actually getting Christmas put up, which I feel like I haven't actually put anything up. I've just gotten a whole lot of mess out and I have a whole lot of mess to clean up. And that's just not a fun thing to think about. Cause I have a funeral to go to in the morning and then I'm free for the afternoon. So tomorrow afternoon, I think I'm gonna take time, just turn on some Christmas music, keep the kids doing their chores, and just decorate where it's fun. Like, I don't wanna stress about it. I have time. I don't wanna, I don't need to cram it out. I just need to have the mess cleaned up by Wednesday for Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's my only timeline. But if I have to put the tubs back out in the garage, just to kind of clean up that mess, I can do that. That's my goal, to get to that point. We got home, listen. Can you hear that? So cool. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it, but you can hear like the crackling of a fire. I love it. Now I need to find one in a um, Christmas scent, but I'm enjoying that a lot. All right, his job for the next little bit is to Finish putting on the lights. This is the one we've just bought. Then I like to add these little ball ones to the front and they just kind of add a different little twinkle and, and texture to it with the different shape. Um, so he's gonna work on that and I gotta start getting food prepped for my friend. Okay, despite the major mess <laughs> back behind me, I am all dressed up. Jason's getting there, we need to leave here soon. Um, what? Oh, someone. Scary. What was that? The middle section was out. And I'm like, wait a sec, why is it out? Um, I've got my lasagna in here. I need to take the little film off. And wow, this kind of gets the cheese browning up. We will get it ready to go here. And then I'll be able to take that to my friend. Um, I gotta find a vegetable. I'm behind on that one. All right, we had a Nice night, we were here at our temple. Let's see if you can see the steeple. Um, so we're here just kinda doing churchy things here. And uh, now we're all gonna go meet and have some Mexican food, hopefully. We were, well they were, they were like, here, let's cross here. Kinda discussing two different Mexican places and one was like, ah, oh, that's not, not any good. And the other, I haven't been to either one of them. No, I haven't either. Mexican doesn't always sit well with me, so we're just gonna have to play it by ear, but uh, um, being, I don't know, out on a date night in the cold definitely brings the Christmas it vibe, you know? They just opened the ice rinks. Oh, they did? Yeah, they just like opened in Bellevue? Oh, I should have primed the car. Oh, you should have, uh, wow. Yeah, they just opened the ice rinks. That would have been nice to have a warm car to come to. Yep. 
All right, let's go get some Mexican food. Well, that's some good light. All right, we're back at home in the chaos that is Christmas decorations that haven't been put up. And in here, we had even more lights not work when we got home. So he's been working, he worked on this before we left and got kind of sick of it and had to get ready. Um, so it's not even done yet. And like this is why I'm glad we started early. You guys, this, I can't handle. This mess, can you even see this mess here? All that over there. That mess. <sighs> that the mess. anxiety this is causing me is, like Abby, I needed two dozen cookies made for a funeral that I have to go to tomorrow. So she made me these cookies and actually made a sign, do not eat. But she's like, well, if we can't eat cookies, then I'm gonna make brownies, correct? But she also, I think, made a double batch of cookies, maybe even a triple batch. And I think she froze. Yep, she's got dough balls on that tray. She's, she's smart, she's like, I'll make the dough, roll them into balls, and then she freezes them, and then you can make cookies whenever you want and have a Where fresh cookie. I need you to stand right here and load these dishes. And then I am going to take a treat. My friend brought these last night at book club. Cornflakes, chocolate, and peanut butter. They're so stinking good. And I did not have a snack today. Did not have a dessert at dinner. We had Mexican. Mexican doesn't really like jive with me. Did not get beans. No, I did have beans, but I had black beans. Well, that that is better. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna take my crackling fire candle, my little lighter, we'll and my chocolate. I will not drink a Coke. I don't mind having my water. I am not hydrated today. But I'm gonna go to bed, because I literally want to sit and enjoy a nicely lit tree. Let's turn the light out so you can get the full effect here. But I can't see past the mess. I can't see past the mess. Ashley's blanket is very big and very I don't really Ashley. What? It's like it's your first one. It's your first one, and the nice thing with these blankets, you can actually just undo it. There's only a few knots in it to connect string. I'm gonna go to bed and watch TV or watch a show on YouTube or something. And um, I'll get up, go do this funeral, and then I'm coming home. And just so you know, Ash, when I get home, we I'm are cleaning this house. I'm not even gonna keep decorating until this house is clean awake. again. You won't be, you'll be awake by noon. I'll be home by noon. Um, so we're gonna say goodbye to you. You know, I think I watch Christmas videos of setting up Christmas, and I'm like, Oh, that looks so peaceful. They're making all these like cute garlands and it's all going up perfectly. You know there's a behind the scenes. You know that there's some reality going on behind all the cute decorations and I just give that to you straight up. We eventually will have a nice video with everything all set up and all the decor and all the lights and the twinkles and I'll set it to Again. beautiful Christmas music. Again. That day is not today. <laughs> No, I did buy more today. Um, I got my candle and I got more lights because the tree burned out. But you guys, really quick, leave a comment below if you remember where I got these. And if you know what it was. Yeah, Coco Nene. But where did I get it from? And do you remember what it is? Leave a comment down below. If you remember what Christmas decor this is and where I bought it, and maybe if, if you can even remember what it is. So, I'm very excited to use that Christmas decoration. Yeah. That one's gonna be, right? She's excited for it, because I got it for them. I also know what, I want that, the certain one. Oh, yes. There is one extra little thing in there that they want, but yeah. if you know, you know, leave a comment down below. But we're gonna sign off with you guys. Happy official holidays. By the time you see this video, I think it'll be the day before Thanksgiving, so game on. We're ready for Christmas. <laughs> Take care and happy holidays. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.